He's a cook. Go on, go on, you heard. Sergeant. Come along, children. Come along. You should yeah, be in school men. now. Yeah. Come along. Come along, children. Come along. It's the glamour of the uniform, Jack. Yeah. I'm going inside. Now bring the hose over this way. All right, Sergeant. All right, sir. Hey, Jack, Chief Inspector wants you. Can't he wait? No, he can't. Sir? As far as we can establish, the fire started about midnight, sir. Big white chief for you, half past nine. The super? None other. What have I done? I don't know, but you look guilty enough. These fires, I suppose. Aye, five in seven weeks and not a single lead. You're likely getting my job. Well, you better get going. Are you, uh, are you coming up yourself, sir? No, you can really well walk. What do you bet it's not promotion? Five pounds. Yeah. One and tuppence. Sonny, can't you just walk the school? Mister, kids don't walk no more. They roll. Maybe I'm getting old, Willie. I can't take this jive and rock and roll. Easy seeing you're not a married man. I get it every morning at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, rock, rock. Seven o'clock, rock, Discipline, man. Wallop them. Oh, what the wife say? Wallop her. You know, Z, you're just down, Father. You might be the best Jack in this city, but you're an insensitive sort of a... Why don't you wallop her? As a bachelor, you don't understand the intricate psychology I'm of asking me. you, why don't you wallop her? The whole complex psychological... Jack, man, she's bigger than you. And what is the motive for arson, Sergeant? Well, it's, it's hard to see, sir. Root? Revenge? Oh, we've tried that, sir. But there's no connection between the buildings. Well, it's more like a kink. Hmm. Oh, it's clever enough, sir, this firefly. Very clever. Truman, I'm looking for a volunteer. Sir? You are that volunteer. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, let's settle. We'll start today. Oh, sir, may I ask what I volunteered for? Yeah. You've been with CID for eight years. Yes, sir. Burglary, criminal assault, cinema murder, dope. Well, it's not me that's done those things. Mm, not a bad record, Sergeant. Not at all bad. Thank you very much, sir. Do you know Sergeant Turnbull? Crime prevention, yes, sir. He's sick. Juvenile liaison, sir. Juvenile liaison. The care of the young, Sergeant. No longer will you be trying to lock people up. You will be trying to prevent children from being locked up. Me, sir? L looking after kids? The, the toddlers? Me? From five to 17. Keeping them out of trouble. Handling kids is not my line at all, sir. You volunteered, Sergeant. Oh, sir, about this firefly... Forget your fires and your crooks and your murderers. And spend your time seeing that the children of this city grow up a little less antisocial than some of their elders. Sir, I know... I know it's important, but... Well, I don't even like kids. I, I'm clumsy, I'm tactless, I'm brutal, I'm... You're a juvenile liaison officer. That's all. Yes, sir. Here he comes. Uncle Jack. Oh, go chase yourself. <laughs> hey, Jack, you walk. What's the matter with my walk? Mr. Jacks don't walk no more. They roll. <laughs> yeah. Oh, rock Jack, you rock Jack, you rock. Sergeant Walker, is the idea of preventing crime a joke? No, sir. Juvenile liaison. 
preventing children from committing crime. Is that laughable? No, sir. Then you've had your laugh, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Hello, Jack. And Charlie. Six Edge Hill. Yeah, all right. I'll send someone down there right away. Hello, Jack. Yeah. Here we are. Edge Hill, number 26. A kid's pinched seven bob from a gas meter. The fair opened up at Sefton Park last night. We'll get a crop of these meter jobs. You'll see. It's always like that at this time of the year. And, Jack, you're taking over from Freddie Turnbull. Well, only for a short while. Thanks. And what hideous crimes was he investigating? See for yourself. Item larceny, one milk bottle. Item two shillings from gas meter. Item one pigeon. Item trespass and willful damage. Item one brick through school window. Item larceny from shop. Two bottles of lemonade. That's a real crook for you. You can laugh, Jack, but they all begin somewhere. Yeah, I know. While you're looking after these kids in the next street, there's 400 pounds of the stuff being knocked off. And who's taking it? I'll tell you. Someone who pinched a bottle of milk when he was a kid. Next time, it's a bicycle. Then bigger things. The child goes before the juvenile court. The crime sheet starts. Our job is to prevent the crime that matters most. The second one. Green Street. Yeah. Yeah, all right, thanks. What is it? Uh, Lipton's grocery store. Kids being caught. Green Street? Ah, it's four division, Sergeant Turnbull. You better get on down there. Me? Well, what's the matter? You're frightened? No, no, no. I'm scared. Uh, well, what do I do? Oh, you'll find the manager there very helpful. He knows the ropes. Yeah, but what about the kid? Just two things, Jack. One, show him you're the master. Be firm. Two, take him home and keep hold of him until you're quite sure you've got the right name and address. Right. The sheriff's on his way. Lou, well, we've no wish to prosecute. If we can leave the culprit in your hands. It's only the young man here, so perhaps you'll take charge of him. I certainly will. What's your name, boy? Patrick. Patrick what? Patrick, sir. That was a stupid boy. Your full name. Patrick Montgomery Murphy. <laughs> I was told to be firm. You're not to take him away, Sergeant. You're not to put him in a dungeon. Come on, now, pull yourself together. Look, I've got no wish to frighten you. Come on, now. what's your name? Mary. Mary Murphy. Mary de Valera Murphy. I see. Well, now I must deal with your brother. You know where you're heading. You're heading for the magistrate's court with this sort of behavior. You can't blame me. 
Nine out, eight, yes. You got to be eight for the court. That's a fact. He's not eight till ten past one come Tuesday. And three minutes to one. That may be. But either way, he's headed for trouble. Well, come on. I'm taking you two home. You think you'll manage, Sergeant? Now, look here, Mr. Manager. For the last ten years, I... Oh, it doesn't matter. Come on. Is just getting around the plan? That's what it was, sir. It's a hard case, is it, Sergeant? Sergeant, I'll tell you just what to do with that stick of yours. What do you want him to do with his stick, Sergeant? Never you mind what I want him to do with but his I stick. But I want to know. We want to know what you want him to do with his stick. Well, it was just a joke, sir. What was the joke, Sergeant? Look, there's a Bentley. No, isn't it the Mark 7 Jaguar? Do you not know the difference between a Bentley and a Jag? I didn't see it right. Were you never a detective? Ask him again. Were you never a detective? Yes, I was a detective. Were you no good as a detective? Ask him again. Were you no good as a detective? Is that why you're here, sir? Ask no questions and you'll be told no lies. Would you tell a lie? You. Tell him to stop asking questions. Dry up, kid. That's the Murphy's place. <laughs> Who's your friend? He's not my friend, he's my brother. Everybody knows Johnny. You're old for a detective, aren't you? Slick, have a go. Please be careful. Please don't throw stone. Who's throwing stones? I saw you. Don't argue with him, Alexander. It's company's van, Johnny. Don't throw any more. Here it is, the Murphy residence. Where's your father at work? Yes. I see. Then where's your mother? London. On holiday? No, she lives there. She's Mrs. Baines now. Oh, I see. Divorced? She's not divorced. She's just Mrs. Baines. Uh, when does your father get back from work, then? In time for Christmas. He's a stoker. He's on the China run. I see. But, but, but who looks after you? I look after Patrick as best I can, Sergeant. I'm 13 minutes older. She does not. Kathy does. Who's Kathy? She's the oldest. I don't think you'd find her pretty. Do you want to see her? Definitely. She doesn't, you know, if that's what you want. You mind what you're saying? Anyway, she works when we're at school. School? Now, that's the best suggestion we've had today. Come on. Oh, no, Sergeant. You Come along. Come on. Like hey, look. Cheeky, cheeky laundry. Please don't do that. Catch stick. Cheeky in the don't. middle. Please don't. Please, please. Please give it back. Don't. Boys, please give it. Please, boys. It's not fair. Please. Stop it, boys. Please. Please, boys. Give it please, back. please stop it. Please, Johnny. I lose my job. Then I lose the van. Then you can't use it. Shut up. Please, Johnny. You're a good fella. Okay. Break. Break. Slick. Slick. Okay, okay. Did you see Johnny? Yeah, I saw Johnny. Have some coffee, Sergeant, won't you? I drink it at all hours. I'm quite the addict, Sergeant Turnbull will tell you. <laughs> so you're the stepping? Well, only uh, temporary, I think, Head. Oh, not so much of the head. My name is Evans. <laughs> all the boys call me Heaven. So it's Patrick Montgomery Murphy you're after. 
How have you found him? Oh, he's a good boy, I think. Poor in mathematics. But then I tell you something, Sergeant, I was damn bad in mathematics myself. But they're not sending me to Boston now for that, are they? No, he's just a boy like all the others. Any truancy? Yes, of course. Didn't you play truant when you were at school? <laughs> not that I can remember. Well, then you must have been a very funny schoolboy, that's all I know. I went to their home. I only saw the brother. Ah, you met Johnny. Well, I didn't exactly meet him, Mr. Oh, for heaven's sake, call me heaven. Johnny's one of my boys, you know. Fine athlete, half-miler. Plucky, too. You ask Father Ledlow. I gather there's an elder sister. Kathy. Nice girl, Kathy. Mind you, she's had her hands full since the mother left. And it would be a fine thing if we could do something to help her. Well, come now. Drink your coffee. I want you to see the school. Energy, man. Energy. I'm keen to show you around. <laughs> this way. There's your rules and regulations for you, Sergeant. A great damn big iron door in case a concrete building goes on fire. And one little devil locks it and maroons two teachers in here for two hours after class. <laughs> Tense is a usually subject, verb and object. All right, all right. Sit down, sit down. Carry on, Miss Barr, carry on. As I was saying, sentences are usually subject, verb and object. The boys took the chalk. Subject is the boys. And the predicate is a half asleep, Miss Brown. <clears throat> now, come on, children. Let's have some questions. Now, what did Shakespeare write? Plays. Derek, name a play. Julius Caesar. Another. I should like it. Yes. And I like you to come to school in the mornings, Mary Murphy. That's how I like it. <laughs> now, who wants to be an actor? I do. Not actor. Actress. And what do you want to act? Oklahoma. Singing, is it? My goodness. Well, get on with your reading. Miss Palmer, just a moment. Miss Palmer. Miss Palmer, you will not bore my children. I would rather you taught them to pick pockets, do you understand? Now, if I find you boring them, I will take you to my study and I'll tell you the story of my life. And then I'll tell you the story of my brother's life. And he was a very boring man. For ten hours, I'll bore the pants off you, Miss Palmer. I could do it, you know. Yes, Mr. Evans. That's a good girl. Back you go. Sergeant, you're wasting my time. All good children come from heaven. They're all good, Sergeant. Well, there is such a thing as juvenile delinquency, you know. Liar! They're only juveniles. They're all delinquents or none of them. It depends how you look on them. You love them, Sergeant, or you don't. You see that stone? It cost me 16 pounds to bring here, and my own money, too, mind. It looks old. It's a millstone, Sergeant. If you fight a war against my children, I'll tie it round your neck and throw you into the docks. Any time you want a coffee, I'm quite the addict, don't you know? Thanks. Miss Murphy. Daffy Murphy. She just this second left the place. There she is at the bus stop. You can't miss Kathy Murphy. Thanks. me. And what would you be after? I'm, I'm the juvenile liaison officer in this district. From the police? I wonder if we could have a chat. Say what your business is. Your, your small brother, Patrick, stole something in the shop this morning. And that's your story? That's a fact, Miss Murphy. Do you think we could talk somewhere else? No. But we think we might help. A scheme for looking after children who get into trouble for the first time. Look, Miss Murphy, working all day, you've got your hands full. You can't... We'd like to see Patrick keep out of trouble. We don't want to see him reach the magistrate's court. He's seven. Not for much longer. 
We think we might help. What do you think? I think you blue bottles make my flesh creep. Bobby, I like. Cop is bearable. Rosa, I'm not fond of, but blue bottle. Stand by a blue bottle. I'm fed up with trying to help people who don't want to be helped. What do people have children? They can't control them. Wallop them. Mr. Bachelor's advice every time. Uh, set up a little silly business. Well, if it's any consolation to you, we're getting nowhere fast with this firefly. Yeah, well, I change places with you any day. Not with me, you won't. For Jack, City Market. Urgent. Urgent? Fire? Larceny. Five ice lollies. <laughs> I've said I'd pay, Sergeant. I know I did wrong, but I've said I'd I'm pay. I'm always stuff pay. Face every all time right, I've right, all right, all right, all right. One at a time, I, now. One at a time. I don't want any all trouble. Right. I've said I'd pay. Mrs. Catton, you take David home now. I'll see you later. Go on, David. Come on. Now see what you've let us in for. You now, Mr. Me, you'd be a side better employed chasing after this firefly. Come to that. You're determined to prosecute. I am. Too many of these kids get away with it. I mind I was caught pinching apples from an orchard once. I tell you, I got it. I got belted, I did. And I tell you, I didn't do it again in a hurry. Me too. You know, Mr. Foreman, you and I were lucky to have that orchard. The kids in this city, well, the shops, the lorries, the vans, the barrels, they're their orchard. The streets are their playground. Do you really think we should take him in front of a magistrate and give him a crime sheet just for this one thing? Yes, but... but... Oh, very well. I'll leave him to you, Sergeant. Mind you, I'd rather his father gave him a sound belting. You're a bachelor, Mr. Foreman. What's that got to do with it, eh? We're always glad to assist the juvenile liaison officers. If you think it'll help, I'll certainly talk to her. Could we go somewhere more private, Father? You are here in your official capacity. Oh, yes, yes. We won't be interrupted over here. If you could persuade her to listen. Persuade? Persuade is a dangerous word, Sergeant. In matters of this kind, the priest can only suggest. As a family, the Murphys aren't very fond of policemen, you know. Was the father in trouble? Now, that's certainly an improper question. You wait outside. I'll have a word with her. Thank you, Father. Sonny? You can say what you have to say as we go. Well, this won't take long. Right you are. It'll take exactly four minutes the way we go. Of course, you don't have to accept the help that we offer you. You mean you have no real power to stick your nose into other people's business? That's not the way we look at it. Oh, you're so stupid. Do you know what you're saying? Come on. I'm saying you're busy working all day. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I tell you what you're saying. You're saying, Kathy Murphy, you and your crook of a father are ruining those children. And we, we, the big-hearted, flat-footed blue bottles of the city of Liverpool, know the heck of a sight more than you. We and the beaks. Oh, yeah, the beaks, too. You've done a very naughty thing, me child. Penal servitude for life. Yes, we, the great we, know how to cope with urchins like your brother. We're not saying that, I promise you. I'll, I'll tell you what you're not saying. You're not saying we'll get up in the morning and make their breakfast. We'll get them scrubbed and off to school. We'll get your father's meal and Johnny's and... Ah. Our only aim was to help the twins. Interest them in a hobby, perhaps. Take them to a youth club. Keep them out of further trouble. And what is it you say they've done? Only Patrick. Mary was upset. She was crying. Heaven help us. And how long have you been a detective? Ten years. And you're going to put this right with your psychology and your big talk. Come on and I'll show you. Look, I don't have any further if... Come up, come up, man. Murphy's! 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 Come in here. 
out, will you? It's a liar you are. Tease that up for another half hour. Mary de Valera, cry. Cry or I'll put you where the crows will get you. <laughs> All right, the matter is over. Now we'll have the cash. Oh, no, no, no. They didn't get away with it. That's right. There's no money. Come on, we'll have the money. Patty, there wasn't any, was there? There's none, Cathy, really. You keep out of this. Give me the money. There's none, Cathy. There's none, there's none. Now, look here, Miss Murphy. Do you want another, do you? No, no. No, Cathy. Then give us it. That's more like it. Now you begin to understand? Well, I'm beginning. Who's the boyfriend? I never got your name. Truman. Detective Sergeant Truman. He's Scumabout's twins. Oh. The Scoutmaster. It's no use talking now, Sergeant. I'll see. I'll think about your plan for the twins. I'll call back. Goodbye. Is it a Is friend it of Johnny's? Johnny's? It's a friend of Johnny's. Johnny's. I don't care where you put the eyes, old man. You can put them where you like. But supposing, just supposing you want to put them in the right place. You know, they don't come down the nose. They come halfway down the head. At least I think they do. I'll tell you what, old chap. Take a good look at my face. Now, where are my eyes? Go on, show me on the drawing. Listening, but it's way past time for bed. Off you go. But, Kathy, did you hear me? Did you hear what I said? Oh, all right. Come on, kid. Is it right in your teaching him? That's all he wanted to do. And you a blue bottle. You're cold. No, I'm not. I'm fine. Did, did they do all right at the club, did they? Very good. Trust the Murphys, and I'm sure they did. Ah, they're always curious. Sergeant, will you take them again? If you want. Of course I want, man. Have you no eyes in your head? Well, I'm going to the park for the athletics tomorrow. I'll take them there. If you want. I want. Oh, you better go, Sergeant. If I know you're a blue bottle, I'll never raise my head again. Tomorrow night, then, 6 o'clock. They'll be waiting. Will you come yourself? Oh, Sergeant, use your head. Okay, Johnny. Okay, kid. Okay.
You're working late. 24 hour service, mister. Hello, Jack. They let you out of the nursery? Ooh. Handcuffs, is it? These kids. Woolly. Huh. Woolly, I had an idea about the Firefly. Well, let's have it. What is this? I found it at the last fire. I've seen it again since. It could be... Are you serious? Yeah. Here, Jack. Look at this. This is a parcel I got from Clements today. Look at this wire. It's quicker than string. Half the shops in town use it now, okay? Same, you sure? Exactly. Well, that's it then, fair enough. Fair enough, he says. When a clue is not a clue. Well, I would have liked to chase the Chinese boy. Why not? Well, he's a good lad. What's come over you? You used to be the best Jack in this city, and now you... You've been with juvenile liaison too long. Yeah, that's true. You stop thinking like a detective. Has, has this Chinese boy got a sister? No. This Chinese boy hasn't got a sister. Good night, Willie. Hey, 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 hey. I'll see you later, Bruno. You know? Johnny! Johnny! Johnny's not here. What is it? You can tell me. That cow. What cop? Twins cop. He's not a scoutmaster. He's a cop. He's been asking questions about Johnny. The rhythm is absolutely... Sergeant Kumar, I thought you were bringing the twins with you. Yeah, they weren't there. And Kathy? She wasn't there either. Oh, look at that. Fetch it back. Freddy, you have a go. No, 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 Freddy. Now, bring your left leg forward like that. Set that one. Set like that? Bring your arm up in the direction of the flight. Johnny boy, we'll have a race. Sergeant, watch this. You're going to see a real runner. I'm not in training. Oh, never mind that. You can do it. Have you got your shoes? I don't use them. Ah, that's the spirit. Boys, the 440. Right? OK. Five seconds handicap for the boys. Right? Watch this, Sergeant. Now, boys, show him how. Hey! Eh? They're all good boys, Johnny. Now, boys first. Any marks? Get set. Go! Get set. Go! Too big a handicap, I think. Just who are you cheering for? Oh, they're all my boys, man. Come on, Johnny! Come on! Come on, Johnny! Come on! Come on, Johnny! <laughs> well done, boys. Well done. You'll be in the 1960 Olympics yet. My... My feet kept slipping. Ah, oh, you ran a fine race, Johnny boy, a fine race, didn't he, Sergeant? Very good. Yeah. Let's have a look at this high jump, boys. I'd put it on. I'm all sweaty. Well, you don't want to catch a cold. You nearly did it. I didn't. So what? Oh, you tried hard enough, even when you knew you were going to lose. I was a mug. Oh, I don't think so. Do you know, Johnny, when I was a kid, I'd never try unless I was sure of winning. I didn't want people to know I'd really been beaten. I'd rather they thought I could have won if only I'd tried. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It's not a very nice characteristic. I hope I've grown out of it. 
You don't grow out of things. You're just what you are, that's all. Oh, I don't believe that. You are what you want to be. It's up to you. People are always giving me that stuff. Why don't I be a good boy? Why don't I work hard? Why don't I join the Boy Scouts? I'll tell you why. Because I'm Johnny Murphy, that's why. <laughs> I wonder who Johnny Murphy really is. Are you nuts or something? <laughs> oh, there's our bus. Come on. Do you know what I want to know, Johnny? What? Why you hang around with those layabouts? What else is there to do? Get a job. There aren't any jobs. You're frightened of getting your hands dirty, is that what it is? What if it is? Maybe I can help you. Is this part of the act? This, this liaison thing? I'm not on duty, Johnny. No? No, you're stuck on Sister Cathy. That's got nothing to do with it, nothing at all. It's a reason. Kid. Look, my business is to look after the twins. If they've got a brother who... Ah, quit preaching. You're coming up. Sergeant, John is inviting you. Don't go, cop. Don't disappoint us. That's it, cop. We don't want you to go. Stick around. Have a dance. Run! I'm not gonna run. I'm not gonna dance. Do you wanna do an over, cop? Break. I say break. Come on, let's go. Party's over. What's on, Johnny? Oh, 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 oh. What's it tonight, Johnny? That's it, Johnny. What's the form tonight? I got something I want to do. I... Why don't we give that cop a going over, eh? He does no harm. He's been asking questions. Well, that's right, Johnny. He asked Alexander all about the van. I don't believe it. Well, that's what he did, Johnny. He asked Alexander. Call Alexander. That's it, Johnny. Alexander! No, Alex, please don't go. Please don't go with him. I gotta go. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Jinky, jinky, jinky. Jinky, 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 Alexander. No, Alex. They only mean trouble. Let go, Primrose. I just gotta go. Why do they want Alexander? 
I don't know. But it means trouble. Terrible trouble. Come along, you two. Start. Just now. Gotta go. I saw it first, you know. I was closing the window and I said, it's another Mabel. I saw it first, didn't I? He saw it first. <laughs> <laughs> on, eh? This is quite like the old days. Old days? The Cheadle Road blaze. I don't think you've forgotten. Oh, that. It was a long time ago. I often think about it. Johnny, why don't you call down to the church Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Someday. Johnny! Johnny! Johnny, Johnny! Seen enough of the fireworks? Enough and enough. It's a big blaze. I heard you put the kids to bed. Tell me, Sergeant, there'd be nobody in a warehouse like that. Not at this time of night. Would there? No, Kathy. There'd be nobody in there. Kathy. What is it? When you got back, will Johnny about? What are you asking? I'm asking you whether Johnny was at home before the fire started. Yes. He was in the kitchen, drinking milk. What are you trying to say? Are you sure about that? I swear it. Hey, Jack. Yeah, what is it? Yeah. Is this the same? Yeah, that's the same. Well, maybe we'd better have a word about your Chinese friend after all. It's not him, Willie. That I'm sure of. Well, he's still got some questions to answer. Look, hold it, can you? Give me an hour, just an hour. Is this the boy who's brother to the twins? Look, Jack, wouldn't it be simpler just to hand the whole thing over? Well, for Pete's sake, be quick about it. Johnny. Come through, Johnny.
I heard you ran a good race the other night. Not bad. Did you want to see me about something? Yeah. Yeah. What about this athletics racket? I thought maybe if I trained, maybe the half mile? I'm sure. But, Johnny, before we say anything more about the running, tell me, is that really why you came to church this morning? Why else? That's for you to tell me. There was a time when you used to speak quite freely. Do you remember the night of the blaze? Who's talking about fires? I am. And isn't it about time I did? Now, don't worry, I'm not a policeman. And I'm not in league with the police, I'm guessing. But, Johnny, God doesn't guess. He knows. God helps those that help themselves, not those that are unhelpful. If you're not prepared to try and help yourself, then we'd better start talking about the half mile again. No. No. Right. I didn't come about that. What did you come for, then? You said about the blaze when I was a kid. Father. Uh -huh. Father, nothing gives me a kick like that. Not anymore. Maybe I'm changing my mind. I don't know. It's, it's, it's not because I'm scared. It's... Go on. It's, it's as if I'm nothing to do with anything anymore. Not the town, not the street, not Cathy. Not even your friends, Slick and Douglas. Not them at all. Father, I... I want... Can't you knock before you come in? I'm sorry, I... Now, Johnny... Don't be a fool, Johnny! Well, I'm really sorry, I had no idea... Oh, please, please, I've no right to snap you. It's just bad luck. It's as if for the first time in ten years I seem to be getting somewhere. You knew him as a boy. I knew him as a very brave little boy. What a pity. I'm a bit afraid he might do something stupid. He's in a strange mood. Do you want to follow him? No, Sergeant, we don't hunt. Boys like Johnny tend to believe they're the only important problem. That's the last thing we want to encourage. We'd like them to realize they're only part of something a little bigger. But if you sort of opened him up, it might be very dangerous. I never knew the police was a psychologist. But you forget God, Sergeant. He came before psychoanalysis. You forget that we believe in God. We have to leave quite a lot to him. Johnny will come back. Look, rightly or wrongly, I'm going to tell you something. We've got a clue. A tie-up between Johnny Murphy and his fires. Small physical clue. I suppose you need it for the courts. I don't think you need look far to connect the two. When he was a boy, there was a bad fire where the Murphys lived in Cheadle Road. Johnny was quite the hero. He gave the alarm, brought one of the twins out himself. And everyone made a great fuss of him. Great fuss. You mean he started that fire? Oh, no, no. There was no question of that, then. But won't your psychologist tell you that people tend to reenact the scenes of their glory? A child's mind be so complicated, Father. Look, can you persuade him to turn himself in? You know that's not for me to do. Then I shall have to turn him in. Kathy's going to be hurt. Ah. Well, we always like to do these things without too much fuss. We? Oh, Sergeant, you must think me very blind. 
Don't understand you. Now that I won't believe. A man's love for a woman has always bewildered him. Nobody seems to come to me these days for the reasons they state. I don't look ashamed. I shall tell her that you had to do your duty. I think that's really what you came here to ask. Thank you, Father. Read this. Read it. I've read it. Read it out loud. Last night, the fire alarm sounded in the city again. Police believe the firefly struck at 11.30 p.m. Who's the firefly, Slick? I don't know who the firefly is. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny, you should have seen that by the fire, Johnny. Tommy. Who's the firefly, Tommy? That's you, Johnny. You're the firefly boy. Kick him. Ah, stop him, Johnny, stop him. Who's the firefly? I wouldn't say, Johnny, not to anyone else. Kick him. Honest, Johnny, I wouldn't. Who's the firefly? I don't know. Who said kick him? But I thought you... You can't think. <laughs> Johnny! Wipe your nose. Johnny, Johnny, what a fire, Johnny. The best of luck, Johnny, what a fire. Yeah. It was a good fire. Great, Johnny. Did it got the joint? Not off. Were the cops there? All there, Johnny. And the others. The fire brigade. The ambulance. The newspaper men. All there, Johnny, all there. Good for you, kid. Well, this place stinks. I'm going to take some air. It just stinks. Let's go, eh? Where's Kathy? Miss Murphy's down in town, visiting our friend, Lady Ariadne. Oh, don't be so stupid, Mary. Is she in the flat? She's not in the Murphy residence. Where is she, Primrose? I don't know. And Johnny? Is Alexander with him? Is he? I don't know anything about Johnny Murphy. Well, you tell Kathy I'm looking for her. And it's urgent, you understand? How are you? Why aren't you at school? It's my birthday in 42 minutes from now. Well, that's neither here nor there. I know it isn't. It's true. Now, Mary, you've no right to play truant. You're eight today. You know you're old enough for the magistrate's court? Not till three minutes to one. You're old enough now. Where's Patrick? He's a child. Just a child. He's with Johnny. Didn't they invite you? Is that it? No, they didn't. They went to get their silly hair done. All shouting and everything. Where did they get their hair cut, Mary? Down by the grant. I didn't want to go with them. Now, you go back to school at once. Do you understand? Sergeant, aren't you going to wish me a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Mary. Not at all, not at all. Steady, boy. Steady, no. that's not funny, you know. Does a haircut cost much? Not for Johnny. They like doing Johnny. It doesn't cost anything. Not anything. You want to get around, kid? Seven shillings. Five shillings to use. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. What's going on? You can't leave that there. Now go and chase yourself. Come on, buddy. What do you want, Johnny? I'll get it for you. Wipe your nose. Johnny wants a big fat steak. With onions and gin. Just like at the grand, eh?
You thinking of going in there, Johnny? You get a good blow out there, I bet. It's all right, Johnny. You'll make it one day. Johnny could get in there now if he wanted. Yeah, in one door and out the other, eh? <laughs> I'm not hungry. <laughs> What's so funny, Slick? Nothing's funny. Maybe you're not hungry. Are you saying I wouldn't get in? I was just saying... Are you? Johnny! That's what you're saying, isn't it? Johnny wouldn't try, eh? Maybe, maybe not. Well, maybe I was it. just... Just hold it. You won't even get in. You watch. Johnny will get in anywhere. What is it, son? Let me go. You don't want to go in there, son. <laughs> get out of my way. I'm sorry, the restaurant's full. I told you to step aside. I'm going in. That's what you think. Hooray! Good old Johnny! I'll fix you. Hooray! Stop laughing, dear. Johnny! I'll get you for this. Get going. School. It's my birthday, sir. Give us a break. School. Directly to school. I'll be ringing Mr. Evans in ten minutes. Fifteen minutes, sir. Ten. Start running. Yes, sir. Sergeant. Kathy. Mary said you were after me. Did you see what happened at the hotel? I heard. Sergeant, we can't talk here. There's room in here. Where are you going? Well, I've got to go, Kathy. To the CID. Come here, man. I'm asking you. I'm asking you to listen to me. Is there harm in that? I heard Johnny say that about the hotel, but he'll not do anything. It was just big talk. I'll see him. It's not that alone, is it? If I just saw a boy shaking his fist at a big hotel, I wouldn't go to the CID, would I? But I promise he'll not do anything. I can talk to him, and if he won't listen, then I'll call you up. That's fair, isn't it? Do you think I don't know my own brother? He's scared, scared stiff. Look, if he won't listen, then you can tell the CID. I'll ring you. I swear it. I swear I will. You can't protect him forever, girl. Look, I'm sorry I told you. I've got to tell the CID. If I was anything like a good detective, I'd have said a lot more by now. I thought you were juvenile liaison. I seem to have grown that way. But detective or juvenile liaison officer or just plain Jack Truman. It's time I told the CID. It's better for you and the twins and for everybody that we should take him now. It's what we're bound to do. I'm sorry, it had to be me. Things may be bad for him, you understand that? I can't let it drift. Not for my sake. What does that mean? You know fine what I mean. Slick, at the overhead railway, Fernhill Station. Okay? Okay, John. That's the boy. Tommy, yeah? you'll be on your bicycle. Johnny, Johnny, the sergeant. He's gone back to CID. They'll be after you. Tommy. She's right, Johnny. She's right. I'm telling you, they know about you. They know about the fires. They're just waiting. They'll get you. Go back to your Boy Scout boyfriend and your priest. Tell him the little plan's gone astray. Johnny Murphy's old enough to look after himself. There's no plan, Johnny. Who are you trying to impress? I think Johnny's had enough. Johnny! Run her out. Johnny, you've got to listen to me! Johnny! Oh, let go of me! Johnny! Johnny! Cassie's right. You're just delivering laundry, friend. That's all you're doing. Just delivering laundry. Last night, the fire was here. Over here, just 20 yards away, is the Seaman's Hostel. Alexander delivered laundry there just before the fire. If you check, I'm pretty certain that Alexander was delivering laundry in the vicinity of all these fires. You mean this Chinese boy's a firefly? It's not possible. I don't mean that. But the van he drives is the getaway van. For Johnny Murphy. You know about this boy? Why be held out in it? I'm a juvenile liaison officer. We're all policemen, aren't we? I don't know where one leaves off and the other begins. 
In any case, I wasn't sure. We'll make sure. Bob, get the cars onto all these hostels and find out who does the dirty washing. What about the Murphy boy? Yes, where is he? I don't know where he is. But I'm pretty certain where he'll go. Where? To the Grand Hotel. And for the first time, we know before he does where the Firefly will go next. I don't want any part of this, Johnny. Please let me go. Primrose is... Shut up. Or I'll kill you. And Primrose with you. Understand? Now get. Move. Come on. Laundry, mister. Oh. We're not expecting any laundry Special today. Special delivery, mister. But our laundry usually comes on Tuesday. Tuesday. What? That'll do. Come on, Johnny. Let's get out of here. Open that window. Go on. Now get out in the van and wait. Hold it. It's nothing to do with me. I only deliver laundry. There he is. Chinese kid. He's dead. More cars intercept blue laundry van proceeding in direction of Dock Road. Trying to do the control, we'll try to intercept the Dock Road. Get yourself sorted out here, deaf or something? No, Steve, no need to shout. Leave the boy alone. Now then, leave the boy alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Give him a chance. OK, boy, come on for Pete's sake. Alexander, he was in front. I didn't see him. I didn't know. Did I... you hit him? Yeah. Gee. Here. What do I want with... for a van, Mark Martin City Lawton. Tell 
Tommy! Tommy, where is he? Where's he hiding? I don't know. I'm not going to harm him. I don't know where he is. You tell Honest me or Kathy, I... I don't. But he's OK, Kathy. Sick told us he's got a gun. A gun? Yes. Johnny will be all right. Holy mother. He won't get far. He may get away with it for tonight, but he won't get far. He's gone far enough, heaven knows. He was talking to Father Laidlaw this morning. He was nearly home, and then it's gone. I bet he's scared stiff. Look, you can make too many allowances, Jack. Yeah, but this was potentially a good boy, sir. Potentially. Everybody's potentially a good boy. Haven't we had enough of these crazy, mixed-up kids who go around bullying, ganging up on people, beating up old ladies? Well, he never did that. He wouldn't think twice. But I'm a policeman. I've got respect for the law. I know it isn't fashionable. But let's spare a thought for the old lady. Not just for the old lady, for you and yours. If these children want to try living outside the law, then they can pay the price if they're caught. I'm tired of the tough guy fever, sick and tired of it, the snakes. What do you say, Jack? You're the juvenile liaison officer? Will the next lot really be any different? Uh, no juvenile liaison officer is going to claim he makes a difference. And what does make the difference, Sergeant? Well, always has done, sir. What's that? A lot of mum and a little bit of dad. I doubt if it's as simple as that. They're like lepers, only they don't warn you with a bell. Right. Juvenile liaison officer wanted. Urgent. I've come as I promised. He wouldn't listen to you. There's something else. Tell me. Will you do your best for him? Will you? I will. I never thought I'd come to a policeman. He... He's got a gun. Kathy. That's all I'm saying. But Kathy! I'm wrong! I'm wrong! Give me the chief inspector. Chief? He's got a gun.
Come on. Out of there. Now hurry up. Follow me. Then. Go on. In there with the others. Hurry up. Go down that end. Down that end. Don't do what the teacher says, you get kept in. Don't do what Johnny says. Not one move. I am help you, Johnny. You can't, Patty. You can't. A man, a man with a gun, he shot at me. Shot at you? But I got away. What sort of man, fair, just a boy? Johnny Murphy. But I shut the bar door, I bolted it. He's quite safe there. But with the children, for Pete's sake! Oh. All us! Shall I call the police, sir? No, don't do that. Let's get him out of here first. And no one must stop him. Right, sir. Get back! Johnny, man, it's me. Get out of here quickly before we call the police. How'd you go? Make a run for it? Go, get out of my sight. Nobody's stopping you with the police, no nothing. You! Yes, I did! I did! I did, Johnny! I... that's gonna die. It's this kid, you hear? It's this kid and 30 like him. Come on. Sergeant, tell the chief that he's got a gun, all right? I'm going in. Come on. Back with the others. Next time, someone else. <laughs> Stop crying. Stop crying! <laughs> Sergeant. Where's Sergeant Walker? Inside, sir. Right to the front. Patty, come here. The rest of you sit down. If you try anything funny, this gun goes off. That's all. You. You, come here. What's your name? Jilly Baker. Jilly Baker, eh? Up there. My Paddy. Shut up! Shut up! That's him there! Steady, steady. He'll be down in a moment. Look at Junior. Yeah, take a good look. It's probably your last chance for 20 years. If any cop comes close, if anyone tries anything, this one's the first to go. All right. What's your name? Jilly Baker. Jilly Baker! Jilly! Jilly! We'll get you down. Jilly. Get back! We'll get you down. Get back! There's lots of others here. Lots of them. You, your name? Linda Bright. Linda Bright! Wendy Davis. Wendy Davis! Sybil O'Brien! Marlene Owen! Tony Riley! Bobby Manelli! You, Jimmy Murray. Jimmy Murray! Jimmy! Murray. Jimmy. That classroom is opposite to where Johnny is. The other side of the iron door. Yes, I could get a party out there, Jack. Maybe with tear gas. You're not going to do anything as silly as that, are you, Sergeant? Tear gas? Bullets? It's only a boy. And 20 children. 
But the boy's terrified. And so are those children. How would you feel if it was your child in there? They're all my children. And I happen to know which one of them is the most terrified. I don't care how he's feeling, it's what he's doing. All right, all right, Sergeant, don't shout about it. But if you do anything silly, he'll kill those babies, I know. He's not bluffing. And it'll be you who'll kill those babies. They won't need to do anything violent. Not if I can help it. Come back! Look at that man. Boy, I'll murder him. We've got to stop him. No. Not a priest. He wouldn't do that. Let's give him a chance. The oddest people believe in God, you know, Sergeant. You must come down from there, Johnny. You, up here. Tell him your name. David Kathleen. Louder. David Kathleen. David. Sergeant. Sergeant, call them back. It's David. Call back, you man. Steady, Mrs. Catlin. He's bad. You kill him. Come back. Come back with that ladder. Don't Tell them, let David. them. Tell them. Get back, police. Please get back. You hear him? You hear what he said? He's not bluffing, you know. All right, Willie, back with him. All right, lads. Leave it. Now you. Back you go. Johnny, I'm coming up. If you come up, this kid comes down. <laughs> Don't be a fool, Johnny. I'm coming up, and I'm coming alone. Come back! You kill the child! Father! I warned you. You can't come up. I warned him. You heard! <laughs> Sergeant. It's my boy up there. Come on, madam. Tell him, David. Tell him. Don't come. Please don't come. Don't be afraid, either of you. Do you want to kill a kid? Do you? Listen. No one else is coming up. You can pull David back. He's afraid. You're wasting your time. People are always telling me that. Get down. I, I, I don't like you here, Father. I'm giving you a moment to think. That's all. Just think what you're doing, Johnny. Don't try and come any further. Never mind the police, Johnny. That's not the real point. Shut up, I told you. The real point is whether you're going to be forgiven finally. I warned you, Father, I... Whether God decides to forgive. Shut up! Shut up about God and... I'm not coming out of here without a free pass. You, you parents, it's up to you. They're your children. Sorry, mio bambino. Better get this lock cleared, Willie. Get hold of that camera, now. Get him out of it. Come on. I've got a right to do as you're told. You want to make things worse? A shot like this? Move back, please. We'll sweep them right back. Parents are on the back of the school. Right. Now take it easy. Get them all away. This is her. <coughs> that's for your father. <coughs> and that's for your brother. Go on, move on. Away with you. OK, let's get out of here. I'll repeat that. This is the police. Clear the playground. Please. We better go with Mr. Evans to his study. Clear You're safe there. We may need you. Please. So as I can watch my brother Return smash himself. Home, Take her. The superintendent's here, Sergeant. Home, All right. Please. Good morning, sir. Clear Good morning, sir. Sergeant. Just getting them cleared, sir. We won't get anywhere clear with this audience. That's fair. Please. Looks like take us, sir. No. Sergeant. Clear Sorry, sir. But... Sergeant. Say what you want to say. Well, if he was a gangster, maybe you'd have to police. use gas, sir, but he's more frightened than the kids and they're with him. The gas would only frighten them more. The street, he'll only shoot if he's scared. And the longer he's there, the more scared he'll get. 
Let's have a look inside. You wouldn't really kill us, would you, Johnny? Not really. Sit still and you... You'll be all right. Don't stare. It's rude. You, read something. Read? You heard? Go on, read. Come on, quickly, open it and read. I will begin the story of my adventures with a certain morning early in the month of June, the year of grace, 1751. Speak up! Louder! When I took the key for the last time out of the door of my father's house, the sun began to shine upon... If any cop comes through that door, one of these kids will get it! He heard the drill. I could put a small child in there, sir. Too noisy. Couldn't you use something more subtle? I know half a dozen housebreakers who could fix it. Get the acetylene cutter on it. Yes, sir. What is it, Sergeant? Well, sir, I know it's not for me to say so, but if you use force, he'll kill somebody. You seem to forget he's killed somebody already. And kill his own mother. I don't think so, sir. Well, we'll try reason once more. If that fails, we'll have to smoke him out. Come on. Better take the car, sir. He gave me in charge a certain letter, which he said was your inheritance. Paddy, up there. What's going on? Nothing, Johnny. There's no one there. There must be someone. Oh, yes, there is. There's a car. Don't dare to duck your head. Tell your brother I want to speak to him. What do you want? We're not armed. You're quite safe to put your head up. What do you take me for? Yesterday, you killed the Chinese boy. It's just possible the judge will treat that as manslaughter. But if you kill again, you kill yourself. There are no longer any crowds watching. All we're asking you to do is to put down your gun and come downstairs. No one will harm you. You can't stay up there forever, you know. I... I got the kids here. You have three minutes, Johnny. Go home! Go home! Come on. Go back, Don. Johnny, why don't you do as he says? It's no good, please. They're not going to get Johnny Murphy. Do you want me to get locked up for the rest of my life? <laughs> <Don't> cry. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up.
What are they going to do? Now, don't worry. Just... Just wait. Remember, keep out of the line of the door. Okay. This is it. We're to create a diversion. While he attends to us, the others will come in through the fire door. Hmm. Decoy ducks. Yeah. Keep clear of the door. All right, boys, here we go. When I say, take the door. He's coming down the corridor. He's coming down the corridor. He's left the classroom. He's got a child with him. He's taking a child with him. He's taken the child into the corridor. I will repeat that. He's going down the corridor with a child as a shield. Repeat. Hold it. Using the child as a shield. Right, here we go. Take the door. doesn't seem to have done much good. No, sir. Let me go in there now. Are you ready to go? No, sir, not her. He listened to me, maybe, but... I'm ready. Look, sir, I know what I'm talking about. Sergeant. I'm going. And no one else is coming until I call. You'll... You'll be fair. There's no one coming with me. I don't need you. Off you go. You're safe now. Where is he? Oh, it's a she, is it? not die, Johnny. She's suffering from shock. She won't die. But we'd best keep her warm. Can... Can you give us your coat? They'll not come. I told her not to. Come on with you. Sit down, children. There's no need for crying now. You too, Mary. What's her name? Wendy Davis. Wendy, you'll be fine. We'll get this coat over you. Mary? 
Better go and ask heaven for a cup of something more. No one's going out. No one. Do you want Wendy to die? Do you? Do you, Johnny? Johnny, if you want it that way, I leave. I leave you with her and with these frightened mites. You don't need the gun. I'll do just what you want. But you've got to tell me, do you want Wendy Davis to die? Bandages, blankets, and a stretcher. Who, who's going to be nurse? All right, you too. Stop. Nurses never run. On you go. Don't kill Frank. Whatever you do, don't look back. Next. You too. Away you go. And we want two ambulances, two mine, and nobody else there. Johnny, love, it's all over now. Are they coming? Just now. Wendy! She's quite safe. She'll be all right now. trying to at the limit and do what someone's got to do? We say you, we've had enough of this inside. You've had your run. Someone's got to say it. You're just a cop, aren't you? Same as all the others. Yes, I am, and glad of it. Kathy, it's right that he should go in the black van. It's right that people should see him go in there. It's right that Patrick should see him go, if only to stop him going the same way. Kathy, you, you can feel too sorry for Johnny. He made us put him in there. And every mother and father in the whole of Liverpool is glad he's in there. He's too old for a perambulator. You don't see. Not you. Nor any. Of 
Don't look round. Don't hurt yourself anymore. Oh, Father. I sold no. him. I did. And you... He's done everything that he could have done. I sold him. Now, quiet. quiet I did. Quiet. I'll look after her, Sergeant. I did. I think you'd best see to the twins. They're in the hall. I did. Let her wait in the car. Come, Kathy. Come on. <laughs> Don't blame the Sergeant, Kathy. And you've nothing Johnny. to blame yourself for, either. It's thanks to me. Johnny's in the van. No, Kathy. It's thanks to the sergeant the twins will never go in the van. And you've done well. Better than any of us. Not just today, but for ten years. But, Johnny... Come on, Kathy. Get it. You better come along with me. You're not going to take them home, are you, Sergeant? Oh, they'll be fine here with me. There's dinner for them. Do you want to stay? Well, that's that. Johnny will be all right. He's older. They had to take him away in the van. A rule is a rule, isn't it? Blue Poppy. They show me your pictures in a police car. Not in a police car. But you'll fetch us. Five o'clock sharp. And don't call me Blue Bottle. I'll walk the rest. I'll see you when I bring the twins back, won't I? Next, you'll be inviting me to the Blue Bottles Ball. Would you come? You're a curious, kindly Blue Bottle. What was your father, Sergeant? A shepherd and his father before him. There you are. 